Hey there! In this video, we'll be talking about getting started in recording and mixing your first song in Studio One. We'll be talking about the basics of recording, mixing, and finally, exporting your song to a file. For this demo, we'll be using a Studio 24C USB audio interface. Now let's start by setting up our inputs. Let's connect our audio signals into inputs 1 and 2. If you're using a condenser microphone, don't forget to turn on the 48 volt phantom power. Now we turn up the gain knobs to get a nice audio signal going in. Now let's turn up our monitoring. Turn up the headphone volume and the main volume if you have speakers connected. The mixer knob lets you blend the incoming signal from the inputs and the computer audio to get a nice balance in your monitors. Turn it to the right to hear more of the computer audio. This could be your metronome or a backing track. And turn it to the left to hear more of the inputs. Now let's open up Studio One. From the start page, we can confirm that the Studio 24C is set up as our audio interface. Now click on Create a New Song. On the New Song window, you can choose from different recording templates. We'll be using Empty Song for now. Here you can type in your song title and change different audio and song settings. We'll leave them mostly at default, but let's go ahead and enter our song tempo. Clicking on OK will now bring us to the song page. Before we start recording, Let's first check our audio routing. Open the mixer window and click on the I.O. icon. This will bring out the song setup window where we can check our input and output routings. Here we can see the input routings properly set up for our Studio 24C. And we can also check the output routing. Now let's go ahead and add an audio track. Simply right click in this area and select add audio track. Let's assign this to input 1. Then let's add a second track and assign it to input 2. Now let's record arm our tracks. With the signals coming in, you can now press record. Now that we have some recorded material, let's look at some mixing functions in Studio One. Let's bring out the mixer window. Here, you can control basic functions like level and panning. Now let's add some plugins. Through the browser window, look for a plugin of your choice and simply drag it to the insert section of a channel. Here I'm using the channel strip. This is one of the basic plugins available and it gives you a high pass filter, a single knob compressor and expander, and a three band EQ. Now let's add an effects bus. Let's look for a reverb effect and simply drag it into an empty space in the mixer window. Now you can send individual channels into this effects bus. You will usually want to use an effects bus for effects like reverb and delay. Simply adjust the effects bus fader to hear more or less of it in your mix. Now let's just go ahead and do a few more tweaks. After you're done mixing, it's time to export. Open the marker track by clicking on the flag icon. This will bring out our start and end markers. Simply drag them into place over the area you want to export. Now go to Song and Export Mixdown. This will bring out the export window. Go ahead and type in the song file name. From here, we can change our file format and other file format parameters. In the export range section, choose between song start and end marker. Simply click OK to start the song export. And there you go, a quick and easy guide on recording your first song in Studio One. Thanks for watching.